Hi everyone. Today in this video, I am going to explain the very important feature of Google Classroom that is rubric. So firstly, I will explain what rubric is and then I will explain the process of inserting the rubric in the class assignments. So what is rubric? You know, whenever you give any multiple choice question or any objective type quiz to your students, then it is very easy to evaluate but look at the another scenario if you are giving any subjective type assignment or any projects to your students then i think it will become a little bit difficult to evaluate the subjective assignment or a project but here the role of rubric will come into the picture so what is a rubric rubric is a scoring guide used to evaluate the performance assignment or any project a typically rubric has three parts one is the performance criteria second is the rating scale and third is the indicator now it is very important whenever you are giving any subjective assignment to your student you should share the rubric designed by you to evaluate that assignment so it will be very easy for the student to understand that on what basis their assignment will be evaluated and similarly for the teachers it will be very easy to evaluate the assignment now let me show you one example of rubric designed to evaluate the project proposal so it has three parts the first one is the criteria the so criteria is simply the basis on which you want to evaluate the proposal in a given rubric there can be one or more than one criteria for example in this case so rubric is designed to evaluate the project proposal and we have used the two criteria here so whenever you are designing the rubric you have to identify first the criteria the second part of the rubric is the rating scale so we have used here the 5 point rating scale here starting from excellent to the unacceptable again you have the choice which type of rating scale you want to use in a given rubric now the third part is the indicator now for each rating scale and criteria you will define the indicator in this example you will explain why are you giving the excellent on this criteria so here you will give the brief description of that parameter so you have to define all the indicators here in the given rubric now i hope that you have bit idea about the rubric now i will take you directly to the google classroom where we will see that how to insert the rubric in the class assignment so for this purpose go to create and click on assignment so give any title to the assignment i am giving here the proposal submission you can give the instruction here so after giving the title and the instruction you can see on the right hand side at the bottom we have the option of rubric click on this one and here you can create a new rubric or you can reuse the previous rubric but we are creating the rubric for the first time so let me click on create rubric so now this is the place where we will design or create a rubric so i am using the same example that i have explained previously to create the rubric here so the very first thing that you have to write here is the criteria so we already have identified our criteria so just let me copy this criteria here and it is must then the criteria in description it is optional you can leave it blank now then we have the point here now what this point here means the point simply means how much weightage you want to give to the students assignment on different criteria and on a different rating scales for example if you are giving the five points here it simply means that you are quite satisfied with the work of the student on this very criteria if you are disappointed with the student on this criteria so obviously you will select this point and accordingly the total score for the students will be calculated automatically so we have used the 5 point here so just change it to the 5 then the level title level title is the excellent here just copy this one and just paste it here now what is the description this is the description that you have given to explain the criteria and the rating scale so just copy it and let me paste it here 
and now we want to add the second one so you can see here we have the plus sign click on this one and click 4 and what is the level title here it is good let me just copy this one good and then give the third one we have the average let me give the three and then we have the average and last second last is acceptable click on this one plus sign acceptable click on two and give the label acceptable and lastly we have the unacceptable here just let me add one more here and here we have defined the zero and let me explain this one now let me quickly add the description for each of the level so we have added our first criteria successfully now let me add the second criteria here click on this add criteria so description is optional just leave it blank no point we have the four and what is the level here it is the excellent and description is this one so now let me quickly add the rest of the levels here So we have added all the criteria and levels here to our rubric. If you want to add more criteria, just click on this add button. So if everything is okay, then we have to just save it. Click on the save button and walk. And you can see here in our assignment rubric has been added this one. Now let us assign this assignment to the students. Click on assign. And here you can see this is our assignment with the proposal. But I forgot to add few more things here. Let me click on add it again. So it is 100 points and let us give the due date here. So give any due date along with the time. Then under which topic it will come. Let us say it is part of third topic and now everything looks fine let us save it again you can see now it is available under the topic 3 here so we have successfully added the rubric to our assignment so click on the rubric and this is what the view of rubric is and the same thing will be visible to our students as well now in the next video i will discuss with you how to add the students to your classroom and how all these assignments along with the rubric and without rubric and the material that you have shared in the Google Classroom will be visible to the students. So thank you so much for being with me.